let's go on to slide number eight. I've already made my new slide here. So let's check our document to see what we need to do for this one. This one says we need to find a carnivore found in the park. Just like slide seven, we're gonna find the same information, but now we're looking for a carnivore. We need to find its full name and it has to live in my park. Then I need its scientific name and a picture for the background again. Let's go back to that National Park website. Remember that you can go to, let me just move back again, that here it is, the Great Sand Dunes National Park and it's NPS. I went to learn about the park and nature. Move over to animals if this is what you have. And this time, because I chose a mammal last time, I think I'm gonna choose a bird. So when I go to my birds here, I need to think of a bird that is a meat eater. There are certain groups of birds that only eat meat. You can probably think of some too. So here's my list of birds. Here's a whole list of every single bird right here that lives in the park. But I'm gonna look down through here. Remember, a carnivore only eats meat. This, is, this means I'm going to be looking for birds of prey. These are your hawks and your owls and your eagles, your falcons. So that's what I'm looking for on here. Only meat eaters. I may get lucky and see one on here. Well, here's a peregrine falcon. Peregrine falcon is a meat eater. Might go down. Oh, here's one right here. Isn't that adorable? The northern pygmy owl. Now, I know that owls are only meat eaters, so I don't have to look it up to show you. But if you choose an animal that you're not sure of what, it's, what it eats, you should type its name in Google along with the word diet to find that it's only a meat eater, a carnivore. So when you go to Google, re remember, if you're not sure what it eats, you just go to and type in the word diet right here and it will tell you what it eats. I know an owl is a meat eater, so I am going to skip that step and not have to do it. Find a picture then of your owl that's going to be your background. Lots of adorable pictures here. When you find one that you like, remember that it needs to be horizontal like a bathtub and you need to have room around it where you can add your words that you need. I've already chosen this one right here. And so I'm gonna go back to my slide, go to background, I'm gonna do this quick cause you know what to do. And I'm going to browse it and I called it one, two, three, so I could find it easy. And I am uploading it for my background. When it's done, now I need to label what needs to be on the slide. So I need to call this my carnivore slide. I need its full name and I need its scientific name. To find the scientific name, here's what I did. Again, I went to Google and I used the word scientific name of the Northern Pygmy Owl. It'll be a weird looking name and if you did it correctly, you will have two words right here. And the first one should be capitalized and the next one is lowercase. It will look like it's a different language. It's maybe pronounced Glossidium californicum. That's its scientific name. You can highlight it and copy it and put it on your slide. And then remember you can retype it so you don't have to deal with that white background. I'm gonna go back to my slide and because to save you some time, I'm going to just show you, I've already made this ahead of time. I put my background on here. There are my words. I have the words right here, carnivore. You should have the words carnivore, should be very easy to read. Then have the full name. I didn't just put owl, northern pygmy owl. And then down below is its scientific name and there's the scientific name. The first word is capitalized, the second word is lowercase. You will lose a point if you don't remember that rule. Capital, not capital. When you're done, you will animate all of your words so that they'll fly in, and then you'll add your transition, how it's going to fly into the next slide, 
and then you will be all done with slide eight. Make sure, maybe even step away from your computer though, just to make sure that all of your words like mine are, are super easy to read and that you're not covering up your animal's face or part of your animal, that the words need to be around your animal so that you can read them easily, easily and see your animal.